talk about the, the, just the, the transition to the GMAT and why it is so important. Uh, the GMAT is a really critical factor in the whole application process. There really are no schools out there that will waive you out of the GMAT. When we talk about GMAT, how important GMAT is in the whole test taking process, we really have to focus on two factors that really complement each other. That's sort of kind of under the, so the, the, the major byline of education. Education consists of two things. Education consists of how you perform in college or college or under graduate school. Um, and admissions committees will look at your grades and they'll say, okay, you did well in school. And your past performance is an indicator of your future performance. But the other indicating factor is how you perform on your GMAT. And people say, well, how much do they weigh? Well, overall, academics accounts for approximately 40% of your overall file score. That's quite a lot. But once again, this is graduate school. It's a very demanding graduate program. All demanding, all graduate schools are very demanding. Schools want to see that you have the academic ability and potential really which will to compete in a very demanding program and really demanding classroom environment. So really the best indicator of future success is past success. If you've done well in school in the past, they assume you'll do well in school in the future. However, we're coming to really evaluating your candidacy based on sort of prior grades. I mean, different people went to different schools. Some schools have grade inflation. Some schools have grade deflation. Uh, some people took easy curriculum. Some people took very difficult curriculum. So there really is no way to systematize your academic ability and potential one person versus another, whether the only other the person who's reading it, their file, their general assessment of the knowledge of the school, your program, your curriculum, the classes you took. What they do is they look really to compare apples to apples or one candidate to another candidate vis-a-vis -vis their academic ability and potential is this test called the GMAP. And this GMAP is basically given to everybody. Everybody must take it. Everyone takes a test on a very, the same or very similar test under the same or very similar circumstances. And the test is weighed, and it's weighed equally as important. About 20% of your overall score is geared towards the GMAT, and 20% is geared towards your, 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 your standard. It is how you perform in college. So those four hours that you really take the test are very, very important. They count for about 20% of your overall score. That's why people put so much time and energy and effort into this taking this test. Well, it's the only objective data that's out there because people can take the same or similar test under the same or very similar circumstances. So that way a person from, say, England who majored in English can compete against a person from India who majored in electrical engineering. It really compares the two apples for apples and shows really what their academic ability and potential would be really sort of 